then and here the whosoever is doing the changes his or her id is coming just to trace the log okay. and here also system will show you the status payroll config means correction or mm -hmm. what is the current state and here uh, at the right hand side here is the arrow mm -hmm. so you can see here the system name this you already know right mm -hmm. so if you are logged in i will see your name or yeah. whoever is being changed whoever has made this change or logged the system i will get their details their details yeah uh, this is cleared right yes i'm going again spro this is pa03 control payroll control payroll control record it controls the individual stages of payroll check payroll accounting areas this also we saw last time see here payroll areas can be any any you know description we can give then period that is monthly weekly in this table actually we are mapping the payroll area with the frequency that is the date modifier payroll area and frequency yeah we are matching here and here we are ticking on this run run, run payroll means if you didn't tick then this particular payroll area will not be considered to run the payroll by the system so we also saw this just to brush up the things we, we saw this just now generate payroll periods this also we saw for period parameters date modifier start date fiscal year yeah this is where uh, the period parameter date modifier yeah we did see this yeah. one if you take this carry out table changes then in the back end subsequent payroll tables will be get updated and if you didn't take this then data will be get stored in buffer memory only in sap it will not get updated in the tables but why we do that actually we, we really yeah. want to yeah. do for right? this yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. Then for this is generally we need the data but if i am doing some testing or i am doing some yeah. configuration and i am not sure means what the result it will give to me or for the part if uh, means i am doing only the testing and i don't want to save that that data into the tables then i i will not take this that is the purpose of this okay got it right just for the testing purpose in live environment obviously means we need all the data check the day of payday this is also we up to this actually we saw in the last lecture here we are you know defining the period modifiers with frequency monthly and day uh, to the year and for all the months we are defining the start date and end date means the date basically on which specific date you need to run the payroll mm, date spe specifier yes date modifier is okay parameter is frequency and mm. the date is every month payroll so like uh, uh, for yes. December, January, February. Yes. Okay. So pay period, we have to uh, specify the pay period. Like uh, pay period will be yes. one for April, two for May. Yes. If you see here, 2019 was a leap year. So it will be 29 yeah. February, like that. And March again, it will be 31st, not 30. We have 31 days. So here, it yeah. will be like 31st, 3 in that way. So we, this is the what you say we do it manually and upload in the system. Yes, yes. On we do table. generally in Excel and copy paste here. If you control and Y, if you do, if you do this, then see this is getting selected. And control if I copy, y. control Y. Yes, control and Y. I'm showing again. And if you see here, and just I'm now copying it. Control C. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I. If I open Excel, because there it will be a tedious manual work, so Excel will be easy. Can I see again? How did you go to Excel? Like you open Excel separately and uh, pasted yes. it, right? Okay, okay. Yes. And then how to upload it? Yeah, one minute. Just and see, I have copy paste here. Control V. Yeah, we can edit it then. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just I'm removing the blank line, so you can select from here. You simply copy and you come here in SAP and here new entries are there. I'm not saving, just I'm showing you. 
Uh -huh. So you can upload here. So how, what did you do? You uh, control V, you did. Yeah. I copied from here, control C. And control I clicked v. on new entries and then I simply, I have done control V, paste. Uh, okay, got it. Yeah. And then just I will save, but right now I'm not saving. Entry already exists, it is coming. Because yes. same entry is there, system will not allow same entry. And it is giving me message, your changes will be lost. Okay, because we don't want to save the changes. And I'm going in this method because when you see the actual system, actual things you will practice, then only you will come to know. Yes. Because SAP is so vast by just running the PPT and by just explaining, you know, it will not survive the purpose. Yeah, I understand. And now this is cumulation calendar. Mm -hmm. So I'm coming here. What is cumulation calendar? It basically, it will give you the calendar for the cumulation of wedge types. Means you will create your wedge types, primary wedge type as I explained you. Mm -hmm. Primary wedge types are nothing but the salary heads like basic, DA, yeah. HR. But in SAP, SAP will not under, understand the text. SAP will understand only the code. So some code like 1401 basic, basic salary, 1402 HRA. In that way, we need to give the coding to the system. Coding means just numbers mm -hmm. uh, that will be considered as your primary wedge types. And again, it will be from the range of 1000. SAP is giving the wedge type, standard wedge types already there in the system. But if still, as per the client requirement, if we want to configure a particular wedge type that is not available in the standard list provided by SAP, then obviously we can configure that. And I will show you that also after our this you know gets completed that we can directly go to the table T512W or otherwise through this customizing also, it will come. Means we are going in a flow only, it will come. I will mm -hmm. show you how to create the primary wedge type. And technical wedge types are nothing but, it, it is generally starts with slash. And they are nothing but, they are creating by the system when the payroll is getting processed. Means okay. when the system is running payroll with the primary wedge types and with the available master data, then in the backend tables, the data is getting stored in the form of uh, secondary wedge types. Means in the okay. form of slash. And then primary wedge type plus secondary wedge type, it will be get evaluated during the payroll process means it will be get stored in various pay payroll clusters we call them as clusters mm -hmm. and then, then system will evaluate as per the given instructions by the sap consultant which mm -hmm. you know holidays or absences needs to be considered like there are some holidays or there are some basically the paid leaves for the employees so mm -hmm. for those leaves system will not deduct any kind of payment okay mm -hmm. and then after that, if employees having the leave quota, like first the annual leave, then sick leave, and that priority also we can define in the system. And okay. that data also will be read by the system. And then the final payroll result will be get stored in payroll clusters and internal payroll tables. And okay. then as per various schemas and personal calculation rules, system will apply as per our configuration and final payroll result will be get displayed means it will be get processed and we will be able to see the payroll log means when i will run a payroll for one employee i will explain you each and every stages of payroll run and then we will run uh, for one employee and we, we will see payroll log also okay yeah and in between we will encounter some uh, you know many some means in fact many errors also if master data is not uh, means you know properly maintained then we get error payroll will not get process right that also we will see what types of error we can encounter and how to correct them and then we will again run the payroll and then we will see the pay slip also and then the tax report as well right so what is this uh, general accumulation calendar do we do anything here now 
because there is nothing to do, right? No, there is nothing to do. One minute. This is generally given by the system only. If you see uh -huh. here, period parameter, uh -huh. date modifier, then initial year, final year, start of the fiscal year, and again determine the period number. Period number means the one minute payroll period, like payment day for period, start date of the period, or end date for a period. So we have and to do it for every payroll once before we start. In every month, we don't have to do first, anything. First, for the first time. This then is the setup. This, yeah, yeah, this is uh, the configuration, initial configuration. And then you will take this, data will get stored in the system. Right. So for the next time, you need not to do this. 